いらっしゃいませ。<笑> Welcome back to ねいいか。We're so glad that you can join us today. In today's video, we're going to talk about a special kitty named Tommy, the blind therapy cat. This is so precious. He is a great happy. He reminds me a lot of Nuffy. Yeah! <laughs> He's a sweetheart who visits group homes and nursing homes every week. Yes, he has people who look very forward to seeing him. <laughs> Yes, this is a precious story that just about made me cry <laughs> in a good way. In 2011, Tommy had been abandoned at a local veterinary office at only four weeks old. He was just a month old. Yes, he was malnourished and he had such an awful eye infection. Both of his eyes were severely infected. Affected, and the veterinary office had to take the eyes out to save his life. Well, Christy Santaro, who is a retired special education teacher, fostered him. And people I find who work with special education children and adults are very special people. My sister works at HCAR, for example. She's been there for 18 years and has worked with disabled people. I also had someone that I worked with as one of my early jobs in my late teenage years. Yes, and Tabitha changed my life. Just, she was only like a couple of years younger than me. She had cerebral palsy and had the biggest soul you've ever met in the world. Yeah, so this kitty did too. Christy and, and Tommy actually became. A therapy team visiting hospitals,、uh, visiting assisted living facilities, nursing homes, and even teaching kids at schools about disabilities. Yes, she would bring in the blind kitty and help them realize don't just give up on life. Even if you have a challenge, don't just give up on life. Life has a lot of meaning, and that little darling. Even being blind is very much helping our society and is bringing a positive message to everyone. Yeah! <laughs> Gosh, Tommy is so famous. He's even helped raise money for a local animal charity. Yes, they went through, Christy and Tommy went through the therapy team training. I think it's really neat. It has to have a certain type of kitty. You can't just have anybody do that job, even with kitties. They have to be very friendly and outgoing, good with people, able to walk on a harness and leash without panicking when situations change, which in his case, he has a lot of difficulty with that one. He doesn't like big, loud sounds at all, like cars. No, they can scare him pretty bad. But these two. Did get through the training and they started visiting the oh, this was so sweet. They started visiting nursing homes, hospitals, and October the 1st of 2020, on the first anniversary of the mass shooting of the Vegas Strip, they visited with the first responders. Pet Partners is a really neat group that a person's able to actually get themselves and their pet trained through and certified as therapy animal teams. Yeah! Now, I want to say they need more people with kitties because they only have 200 teams and they have 13,000 doggy teams. 
<laughs> so, any of you that wants to get interested in joining, if you have a special cat that you think might qualify, check those guys out. I'm not affiliated or paid or anything like that by them. I'm a person who supports those who support cats, whether they're a shelter, whether they're a therapy cat place. I respect that a whole lot, and I love the progress that our society is making in understanding just how precious these ones are. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching our videos today. If you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those paws and paw that like button. Then you can paw the subscription button and you can paw the notification bell so that you can see all of Nuffy Cat's videos with these cute little wings. Such cute little wings. 